Hello, Wastelanders! It is I, Big Papa J. Welcome back. Okay, so we had just gotten done freeing Jack Colbert's. I, well, I'm probably saying his name wrong. Freeing his dad, his father. And they are in panic mode. And I also completed one of my bounty quests for Crime and Punishment from the, from the Bounty Hunters Guild. So, First thing I want to do is I want to go turn that in. That girl is still standing there. She's waiting patiently for me. I will do her, but not until I um, do the first part of her quest. Which I might do next. That might be after after we after we tie up all these loose ends here with um, this bounty hunter quest and Jack tie up a few of these loose ends I may try to jump in and do her crest not not back up not both of them back to back but the first part one and that will open me up for part two more properly like they always use the same female girl though they all look exactly the same there's actually a quest mod that you can download that um, that it changes all the children and, uh, and the people but I try to keep my mod load as simple as possible I don't want too many mods because the more mods you have the, the more chance you run a risk of things going bonkers haywire on you hey lady guess what <clears throat> how can I help you uh collect on a bounty job's done now what about my pay really that's great Let's see about your payment. Here you go. Come back and see me if you want more work. Okay, my gun for high reputation has increased by two. And I just made 500 caps. Now it's time for me to make my way back over to Jack Colbert's house. So we can wrap up business over on that end. This will probably end up being a short video, probably one of the shortest ones I've done. But we'll see. Because right, pretty much all I'm doing is tying up loose ends. Do, 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 do. Hey, I'm I made it to level 29. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Now, the last time I did this on the vampire mod, I actually sided with your mind. Why did you release Lorenzo? Is he here yet? Lorenzo here yet? No, of course not, or we'd all be dead already. Now answer the question. Why did you free him? You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Your story about Curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. He's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time. You've been working for Jack for a lot longer than I have. What do you think? I don't know. He seems pretty crazy now. But who wouldn't be after being locked up for 400 years? Yes, Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me, although he's... Yes, Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me, although he's understandably pretty pissed off. Well, goddamn. I guess you have some explaining to do, Jack. You can't seriously doubt me, Edward. After all I've done for you? <gasps> oh, my... Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. 
Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Wow, he actually sided with us. Edward, that gun, whatever daddy is. Well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. Hey, so what's next? Uh, okay, they had it coming. They had it coming. I can see you understand the deep satisfaction of revenge long delayed. Now that I've taken care of that bit of old business, I can see that I have a lot to learn. Things have changed while I've been locked away. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. I can see that we're going to get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promised to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Okay, Miss Mysterious Serum. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply, as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. Okay, awesome. So, I've always been curious what would happen if we sided with him. Now, Edward, let's see. Hey. It's a damn shame things had to end like this. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had to answer that for myself. Only thing I'm sure of is that I won't stay here. I've had my doubts about the Lorenzo situation for a long time. You may not realize, I've been working for the Cabot since before the Great War. I never met Lorenzo, of course. He was already locked up in Parsons when I came on board. So I've had to take Jack's word for everything the whole time. And I won't lie, I had a good situation here, and I didn't want to wreck the boat. I don't know if it was the right decision or not, but what's done is done. Good luck. It's been a pleasure working for you. Same to you. I'm sorry I got you involved in this mess. Well, no point in hanging around here any longer. I'm done with the cabins. Okay, later, gators. <laughs> Going upstairs? I guess your room may be upstairs. <laughs> it may be upstairs. Oh, but now, I'm curious. What is... What is that serum that they gave me? Let's see, data... Doesn't say, doesn't say, doesn't say. Okay, let's go to... Inventory, aid... Um... Medicine... Mysterious serum... Plus 50 damage resistance, plus 5 to strength, wow! If that's what it is, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I can get more from him anytime I need it. Not that I need it, but I can get more from him if I needed it. Okay, well that ends that. 
So now I'm forced with the option of what do I want to do next? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to my um, office. First thing I'm going to do is jump back over to my office. And then I have to decide what I want to do from there. I tell you this is going to be a short, a very short quest, short mission. Maybe I'm constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Uh-huh. I agree there, Miss Piper. I would still like to find Ada, but I'm not going hunting for her. Um, let me see. I think what I want maybe is this Kelly Manor. Go on map. It's above the cemetery where we was just at. Jump back up there. Let's jump back up there. Because I need to do that in order to get up to where I am with that girl hanging around with me down there. So let's go let's go check this place out. Ah, oh, good lord. If there ain't no zombies walking up behind me, it's gonna bite me in the butt from on my six. Gotta make sure you never know. These boogers are sneaky, they'll investigate the area. Yep, there she is, right there. And this starts the, the quest. Some kind of laser or something up there. Like, here's what I'm after. This is what I am after. Got it. Okay, what just happened? Ooh, what is this? Where did that castle come from? Can't shoot that, whatever it is. The Kelly Manor Mansion. And my weapon's gonna be useless up in here. Hello, little girl. Hey, what did I tell you about running in the halls? Come here. Take it easy. You could hurt yourself. You're too special for anything like that. I'm sorry. It's just... Who is he? Who? No. Oh, why? What's going on here? He don't think I want to go down there. This is the toilet. Is 
this is a kitchen. Note. Oh, a couple of days. That note say, Hey, look, grenades. You can figure it out. DDD. <laughs> Love Madison. Madison's the little girl. And I take it she's probably an evil little girl. Requires a key. I don't have a key to that. So I'm not doing that. That requires a key. So it looks like my options are pretty limited. Ooh. I'll take take that ammo there. My options are pretty limited. I look like I'm gonna have to go down the spooky hole whether I want to or not. Not going that direction. Hey. So if I can't go that way, and can't go that way, requires a key. I don't have a key. And I blow it open because there ain't a whole lot of options for me here. can't blow it open I thought maybe I could blow it open because she did give me those grenades hey look grenades you can figure it out <laughs> okay what well, I couldn't figure it out I'm a dummy if I can blow on the bottom maybe just maybe I can blow blow this open see if I can blow that open yes Yes, I was able to blow this open. Ah, house key. Found the key. I found the key. What else is in here? Anything? Don't look like it. What in the bloody hell was the key doing down here though? That don't make a whole lot of sense. Why was the bloody key down here? Anywho, I think now that I've got the key. Crap, you scared the bloody hell out of me. What the hell? That scared the bloody crap out of me too. Mr. Bear, you are creepy. Hey. Creepy little girl. Madison humming. Got a bear over there, Madison humming over here. 
I think I'm gonna stop it right here. I know this is only like the 20 minute mark, but I told you this video is gonna be short. And when we return, we will dive deeper into the mysteries of this house. My movie's fixing to start and that I wanna watch. So I'm gonna go watch a movie. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Madison spooky and I don't like that bear. This is Big Papa J hoping you have a good day or night depending on what it is where you are. This one's going to be a little spooky and th this is only part one. Once I complete it then Madison who is standing at my doorstep at Gun For Hire will start part two. One, two, three. Madison creepy. Anywho, this is Big Papa J and I'm out of here.